Howdy everyone, it's me Grace, and today I'm working on a new costume. This character is a fantasy-inspired serpent girl rogue character. I'm really wanting to wear this to a LARP or another fantasy event in the future. So today, I'll be creating her accessories, bag, and weapons. So let's get started. I'm drawing a rough sketch of what I want my belt and accessories to look like. I just want to make sure my design looks alright before I actually start building it. I'm starting with the snake belt. This design has two snakes meeting in the middle. This is the part where all my other accessories are going to hang off of, so I want to make sure it's strong. I'm using some Lumens Workshop Warbler, warming it, and layering it until it's about a quarter inch thick. While the Warbler is warm, I'm bending the two halves of the belt into the snake shapes. Using a sculpting tool, I'm carving in all the scales and the details on the snake's faces. I warm the warbler section by section and carved in the scales until both sides were complete. This took a while, but I think it was worth it. To join the belt pieces in the middle, I used a small piece of mesh and glued it to the back side of the snake's heads. I used some more glue and rigid foam from the Cosplay Apprentice to reinforce this part. To connect the belt in the back, I use two pieces of elastic. I'm attaching snaps to each side so I can take the belt on and off easily. I'm deciding not to use Velcro on this belt because I don't want the Velcro to catch on the fabric pieces of the costume later. Plus, I think they look a little more authentic. I attach the elastic pieces to the warble belt pieces with glue and foam to reinforce everything. Now to create the bag that goes onto the belt. I definitely want this bag to be functional and durable. After all, there's nothing like having some convenient storage on a costume. I'm drawing the pieces of the bag on printer paper and transferring it onto some 5mm foam from SKS Props. I glued the main part of the bag together with contact cement and smoothed the edges by sanding them. Then I used a needle and leather thread to stitch around the edges. This helps it look a bit more rustic, and I always love how leather thread looks. I want to finish some details on the front flap of the bag before attaching it. First, I sewed a snap to the inside of the flap. I put a piece of foam under it as a reinforcement, but I don't really think it made much of a difference. To create a scaly, snaky design on the bag, I'm cutting out dozens of small scale shapes from foam and attaching them to the flap with glue. I glued the flap onto the bag and sewed the other half of the snap onto it. Now it can open and close. I thought this bag needed an extra sneaky touch, so I used my soldering tool to burn more scale details into the rest of the bag. This took a long time, but I'm happy with the results. I'm attaching some jewelry chain to either side of the bag and attaching them to these cuffs I made from foam and thread. These cuffs have snaps that can attach to the belt. I decided to attach the bag to the belt this way so I could take it on and off easily if I needed to rearrange items on the belt. Here's how the bag looks attached to the belt. I think before finishing this, I'll double up the chain so the bag doesn't hang so low. But otherwise, I'm liking it so far. This character's weapons will be two Chotels. I'm bending galvanized wire into the rough shape of them. This will serve as a stabilizer as I build around it. Now I'm cutting the shape of my show tells four times into some rigid foam. This foam is What the Foam brand from the Cosplay Apprentice. It'll work well since it's extremely rigid, yet can still be carved and glued easily. I'm cutting a channel on each side of the show tell for the wire to sit in. Then I can glue each side together. I'm 
and beveling the show tells where the blade should be and then sanding the edges to make them even. I'm using Lumen's Workshop foam clay and sculpting snake heads for the handles. After the foam clay dried, I etched in scales and face details with my soldering tool. I'm priming both of these with two coats of Plasti Dip. Once they're dry, I'm painting the blades with Vallejo paint and Plata Silver. And I'm painting the hilts in a midnight blue and black paint mix. The bag and the belt will be the same midnight blue color. I'm going back over everything with different shades of black and blue. This will add some color variation and depth to everything. I'm also adding some eyeballs to the snake hilts with these little warbler pieces. I mixed some two-part clear resin together and painted it onto the eyes of the belt and hilts to make them look shiny. To attach the show tells to my belt, I'm sewing on some snaps to some black elastic. I made a loop with more black elastic on the belt and attached all the pieces together so I could easily remove the show tells or carry them on my belt as needed. I decided the belt needed a couple more accessories, so I sculpted this little mouse out of Warbla, painted him, and attached him to the belt with some leather thread. With this character, she still holds on to a lot of her snaky habits, including the fondness of mouse snacks. She likes to keep a spare mouse on her belt in case she gets hungry. I'm also making a dagger in a sheath, because why not? I made this in a few minutes out of Warbler. To keep the snake theme, I coiled Warbler scraps around the handle. I painted it black, blue, and silver to match the other accessories. I made the dagger's sheath out of EVA foam from Lumen's Workshop. I sewed the edges together with leather thread, plasti dipped it, and painted it the same color as the mouse's leather thread. Now all that's left is to attach everything and try it on. Here's the finished belt. It felt great to create my own design and to make these pieces. I can't wait to finish the rest of the costume. Thank you all so much for joining me today. This week's Maker of the Week is Joe Lab. He created this wonderful 3D printed Keyblade. I've watched him work on this for a long time and it's cool to finally see it all together. Great work, Joe. I hope you all have a lovely week and be safe. See you next time.